Right now, let's break down the much ballyhooed restart. I was looking at the app formerly known as Twitter last night, <laughs> and Jumped was trending, Brad Gilly, and they weren't talking about Michael <laughs> Jordan's latest sneaker iteration. Well, no, they were talking about Denny Hamlin, who uh, who very clearly jumped the restart. Um, whether you watch it from the overhead shot or probably the better version of it, which is an in-car shot from Martin Truex Jr.'s car, you can clearly see Denny Hamlin just not only get on the gas, but get on the gas with vigor long before they hit that Geico restart zone. And he did. NASCAR let it go, which was interesting because there was a restart in the Xfinity Series race, which was under review. And that's not an uncommon thing, by the way, for NASCAR to say that. They said this was not going to be under review. Uh, I do feel this is something they're probably going to be criticized for. Now, was Danny Hamlin going to win the race? Maybe. But I do understand why Martin Truex Jr. was frustrated at his teammate, and he showed that displeasure at the end of the race and said himself, look, I wish he would have just given me a chance to race him fairly. All right, let's uh, hear from both of those principals here. First up, Martin Truex Jr. You know, unfortunately, it's, it's happened to us a few times at Richmond here. So, you know, lead the whole race, and then some stupid move brings out a caution. You know, coming to the white flag and ruins our whole night. So it is unfortunate, but you know, honestly, just awesome job by my team. And, you know, Auto Owners Camry was a rocket. It was something we've, like we've had here in the past. And unfortunately, this has happened to us a few times. So come in with the lead, go out second, you know, to the fastest pit crew on pit road is uh it's a tough one to swallow but i feel like you know we we still got had a race for it but just got used up in turn one on the restart all right martin trex jr always the gentleman there but giving uh props to denny hamlin's pit crew for getting him out first and that probably made the big difference in the race and he says finally got used up on the restart there uh denny hamlin obviously saw that restart a little bit differently i went right at it for sure um i, I did that because i saw those guys rolling to me um, you know, the, the 22 was laying back, the 19 was rolling uh, a couple miles an hour quicker than I was. So I wasn't going to let them have an advantage that, that my team earned uh, on pit road. So I uh, certainly made sure I, you know, once my nose got there, I, I took off right away. Uh, but still, you know, we were side by side and down in the, down the water in the turn one. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter now. Uh, Denny Hamlin gets the win, his fifth at Richmond, second this year, Alexis. Yeah, and I doubt a year from now anybody will really remember, you know, all of this. But I will say that if there's a line and you're supposed to go at the line and you don't, you go before the line, that's jumping the restart. Like there's, you know, there's there was opinions on Twitter yesterday about, oh, well, you know, specifically Josh Wise, who if a lot of you don't know who he was, he used to race cars. Now he works uh, behind the scenes and kind of driver development, that area. And he, he tweeted out, he said, NASCAR has always allowed flexibility on the restart box entry. There would be dozens of wins overturned if they had a hard line on this. And our ever clever Hank Lee said, well, I'm not going to argue his point, but there's literally a line painted on the racetrack. <laughs> so, you know, like I watched it. And to me, it looked like he went before the line. It, it looked clear as day to me that he went before the line. So is there some way that we can make officiating this a little bit easier than people's opinions of what they see with the naked eye? If only we had SMT data if and only, GPS yeah. tracking and, and a way to know exactly when they hit the gas and when they... Oh, wait, we do have that. But I don't know how well it would be tied into the scoring system as well. And, and, you know, there are some people who say, hey, I mean, look, at the end of the race, Kevin Harvick and Clint Boyer talked about it and said, yeah, he went. But, you know, what are you going to do? It's the end of the race. You know, Denny Hamlin was doing everything he could to win, and he did. I I, I don't think that's a satisfactory answer. Not for me. That's just for me. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like there's got to be a definitive way yeah. in today's world where the NFL can take eight minutes to tell me it's a catch it's not a catch <laughs> with with something this important you just can't go well that's what we saw i, I almost I, I don't feel i like almost it. feel like it should be the other way around like it's the end of the race you should take the most hard line stance on that you should look at that the most you should use as much data available to you to make a decision than any other point in the race because that is what is going to go down in the record books what happens depending on that restart so just saying oh well it's the end of the race so nascar let it go that it almost blows my mind a little bit i don't brad i i've got to agree with you and i was thinking about that last night i'm thinking with all of the tools that the sanctioning body has literally at their fingertips. Mm -hmm. There has to be a way to get beyond a judgment call 
of the people in the tower making that. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, it would you would think that it would be possible to be able to do that. We have timing lines on pit road that tell us when someone is speeding. We have uh, an orange box at the entrance to pit road that we can clearly see when someone drives over it. I don't think it took you know much of anyone to even look at the front of their race cars and realize that Denny Hamlin went before the line, and especially the in-car camera to see that Denny Hamlin uh, went before the line. I, it, it, all of the evidence was there. And I get that this is a short track, but again, like I said, in the Xfinity series race, there was one that they were questioning and it was actually someone jumping the restart on the inside. And they said, well, this is under review. It ended up being reviewed and not a penalty, but I, I don't know why we can't do that. I, I will say this, and this is not in defense of Denny Hamlin, but Alexis, the fact that his crew beat everybody off pit road, put Denny in that position. Absolutely. To win this race. Absolutely. No doubt about it. I mean, he he, he came in not the leader and he left the leader and that is 1000% um because of the job that his pit crew did and that his pit crew it's been well documented has been lightning fast all season long. So they're doing their job and they he even said in his in his post race um interview, you know, this <laughs> this trophy deserves to go to every single one of those crew members because, you know, obviously Denny Hamlin is a great short track racer. He's a great race car driver altogether. But that win last night, I think has to go a thousand percent to his crew.